Okay, this is an article that just came out on July 31st, 2017, and I will leave the link to this article that just came out. Uh, White House panel recommends declaring national emergency on opioids. Trump's commission on opioid crisis asked Monday to declare a national emergency to deal with the plague. The members of the bipartisan panel called their request first and most urgent recommendation. Trump created the commission in March, appointing Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey to lead it. The panel has led its first public meeting last month and was supposed to issue an interim report shortly afterwards, but delayed doing so until now. A final report is due in October. With approximately 142, listen to this, ladies and gentlemen, with approximately 142 Americans dying every day, America is enduring a death toll equal to 9-11 every three weeks, the commission members wrote referring to the 9-11 terrorist attacks. So it's no longer 91 a day. It's 142 people per day. And these devils got the nerve to keep coming and trying to taunt black people on YouTube channels. No, it does not show intelligence. It shows just how degenerate your minds really are. You'd rather come to a YouTube channel, call a black person a nigger, and talk about black on black crime, but you got 142 dying every single day from drug overdose in America. And most of it is in the white community. But you don't see that as a problem. You see it's more urgent to come to a black YouTube channel to become a menace to everybody. That's more important. Only the mind of a degenerate cave person would do something like that. Or non-person, I should say, because you're a bunch of hybrids. 142 per day. Your declaration would empower the cabinet to take bold steps, would force Congress to focus on funding and empowering the executive branch even further to deal with those, um, lo uh, those loss of life in addition to seek an emergency declaration, the commission proposed waiving a federal rule that sharply limits the number of Medicaid recipients who can receive residential addiction treatment. It also calls for expanding access to medication that help treat opioid addiction requiring subscriber education initiatives and providing model legislation for states that allow a standing order for anyone to receive naloxone, a drug used to reverse opioid overdoses. But you see, ladies and gentlemen, let me just point something out to you. They got Narcan around, and they're still losing 142 a day. So the Narcan is really not putting a dent in stopping the deaths. Just wanted to point that out. Some public health experts say the main effect of declaring an emergency would be to make Americans regard the plague more urgently. It's amazing. They didn't declare the crack epidemic in a, a national emergency. Just saying. 
it really it's really about drawing attention to the issue and pushing for all hands on deck said michael frazier the executive director of the association of state and territorial health officials it would allow a level of attention and coordination that the federal agencies might not otherwise have but in terms of day-to-day -day life saving i don't think it would make much difference the governors of arizona florida maryland and virginia have declared states of emergency regarding the opioid addiction plague in alaska governor bill walker has issued a disaster declaration in addition to mr christie the members of the commission are Governor Charlie Baker of Massachusetts, uh, Governor Roy Cooper of North Carolina, Patrick Kennedy, a former congressman from Rhode Island, Bertha Madras, a Harvard medical uh, school professor who specializes in addiction biology, Tom Friedman, uh, director of the Center for Disease Control and Prevention during the Obama administration, declaring a public health emergency under the Stafford Act, as the commission recommended, was usually reserved for national, I'm sorry, natural disasters like hurricanes. This is not a natural disaster. You better believe it's not drug addiction. That's probably one of the most unnatural things you can do to your body. It's one caused by overprescribing of opaques and flooding of illegal opates into the country, Dr. Frieden said. The critical measures for reversing the opioid plague are improving prescribing and increasing interdiction of illicit opioids well good luck with that dr frieden you may control the doctors but i can tell you the street drug you will not be able to control gary menel the founder and chief executive of shatterproof an anti-addiction advocacy group said an emergency declaration would be a significant step towards acknowledging the severity of the crisis we face and the urgent need for action, including national emergency funding and suspending regulatory hurdles that limit our ability to save lives. Uh, Mr. Cooper said in a statement that he considered the report incomplete when it comes to making sure all Americans have access to affordable health care, which includes mental health and substance, uh, uh, substance abuse treatment. He added, I urged a commission to make a stronger stand on the accessibility and affordability of health care. And there you go. 142 a day, ladies and gentlemen. This thing has <laughs> woo man I, 91 a day was a lot but to be up to 142 a day this is literally killing the caucasoid race ladies and gentlemen there ain't no way between their suicide which is 122 a day and now this opioid plague 142 a day uh-uh. This looks like a very, very losing battle for them. But tell me what you think in the comment section. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And if you can donate to my channel, please do. Peace, family.